This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Coming up, game one of the World Series on MLB The Show. It's the Kansas City Royals and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Siggy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Okay, all set to go. Here's the rookie third baseman, number 11. The why to kick the pitch. A little bit high. So the 2023 World Series is underway. The wind of the pitch. Now one and one. Righty delivers. Good job to fight that one off. Righty to the plate. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Fights it off. He'll see another. Swing and a base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals, and now the count is even. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The 1-1, one -one. run around the goal. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next pitch misses, and the count is even two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch misses way outside. Salvador Perez waits on deck. Nobody out, runner at first. We'll see another payoff pitch. Hammered 
on the line. Base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Now oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, everyone wants to get off to a great start in a series, so if you can get on the board first, take a lead, you put some of that subtle pressure on the other team. The 1 0. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Thomas sizing it up. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Runner tags from third. Run scores easily, and the Royals strike first. It's 1 0. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. MJ Melendez will hit next. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First offering and it just misses. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark. And you help to quiet that down a little bit. There's a strike. And a pitch out, but no steal and it's ball two. That one in for a strike, two and two. Gallon checks on the runner. Back standing. He's in there safely. Witt leads off first with one away. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Guriel puts it away, and there's two down. That is it. The left field. Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. Gallon checks on the runner, and he's back in on a dive. Another move to first, and they're keeping him close. And that's in there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And he'll one. Runner on the go. And that one sliced foul. And the right hater deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Oh, he's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it, hit it hard, had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment, let it travel a little more, and see if you can keep that thing fair. Outside. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Two-two on the way. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the grab after a long run. And the inning is over. A run on two hits and they leave one. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Royals one and the Diamondbacks nothing.
Back here in the desert and on the hill in this one, Zach Greinke. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. This is Corbin Carroll. That's a strike. It's 0-1. The wind and the pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Cattell Marte, batting with one down, takes a strike. And that one fouled off. The 0-2. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And the postseason success continues for him. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next to hit for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And he deals. And it's even up. And that's in the dirt. Way to lay off that pitch down. A swing and a miss. Two gone. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's Christian Walker. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And the righty deals. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Next offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And down on strikes. That's the inning. One left for Arizona. They're down 1-0. Top of the second, and now the DH, Michael Massey. Gallant back to work. 
and delivers outside. And it's one and one. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it. The umpire rolls with him. Pitch misses there. Now three and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Thomas calls it in, and there's one away. Tyrone Blanco steps in for the Royals. In there for strike one. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. 0-2 now. Ground ball, Walker. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Here's Nick Prado. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That clips the corner. Two down, nobody on. That one missed. That's off the mark, and that's ball three. And now the count filled up three and two. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's there. He's got it. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Royals, but they're on top. one nothing. Here at Chase Field, we head to the bottom of the second, and now here's the veteran DH, Tommy Fan. The pitch. Good eye right there. On the inside corner for a strike. Came a little frustrated with the strike zone. Pitch misses there. Two balls and a strike. Just missed. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. And it's filled up. This to center field. Blanco under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. They say it went. Next pitch misses outside. And now it's even one and one.
The one one is fouled off. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Alec Thomas now. That's off the mark, and it's one to know. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball. Here's a one one. And that's in for a strike. That one went straight back and got her up right in the mask. Let's hope he's okay. Well, you could hear that ring off the mask from up here. Definitely took a shot that time, but I think he's hanging in there. Yeah, great to see him moving around okay. It's amazing how far the equipment has come in terms of protecting the umpires back there, and that's a good thing. Here's a one-two. That's down and in. And now it's filled up. Evan Longoria to bat next. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Diamondbacks down quickly, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Welcome back. And now it's Matt Duffy. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallen and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment, and Gallen slept on an air mattress. Got to do what you got to do coming through the minor leagues, but that can definitely help to strengthen that bond, be on the same page when you get into the ballgame. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And a quick out, number one. Number 11 steps in for the Royals. Singled and scored his first time. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. I think baseball's starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game today. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count one and one. On a line, base hit. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Gallant keeping an eye on him. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. Back to first. No, and once again, he's back in safely. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. First offering misses the mark. Gallon checks on the runner, and he dives back in safely. Next offering is in for a strike. Steal. 
The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Not even close there. Now two and two. On the ground, a short could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the base runner. Now, Salvador Perez drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Way high with that one. Ball one. The pitch. In the air, right field. Carroll moves towards it. And that is that. Royals lead one, but they still lead it one nothing. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Singy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you get to the World Series, that's what your whole goal was the entire season. Then you're there, there can be some luck involved. So you just got to shake it off, go out there, know that this is a rare opportunity, and just play your best. And the pitch. Foul ball there. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the struggles continue in the postseason. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And the batter will be the shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. In there in its own one. strike right there that one not close one and two to count and the one two misses to even the count one down base is empty Corbin Carroll in the on-deck circle. Here comes a 3-2. Out towards left center. Olivares makes the grab, and there's two gone. So up next, Corbin Carroll. Struck out on just three pitches last time. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. And the 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And that keeps the inning going. 
Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Cattell Marte. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. That's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send him. Pickoff throw, and he's back in easily with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. On a line, Melendez makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They still trail 1-0. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, MJ Melendez. Gallant back to work. And takes low for ball one. Well, these Royals do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Next offering is downstairs. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's the left fielder, Edward Olivares. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. That one way outside. Ball one. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And now two and one. And that one fouled off. Now all even up. Got him. That's out number two. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch. Had him fooled. Massey stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that is that. Royals bats are quiet there, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom four. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Here comes a pitch. And that one off the outside edge. And a swing and a miss. 
The 1-1. One, one. To third. And it's just foul. That was close. Out to short. Throw over to Prado. One out in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Christian Walker went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a foul straight back. Next offering is down low. And one and one. To the right side. Can't glove it cleanly, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Here's Tommy Pham. Glide out his first time. Pitch nope. misses. One and oh. San Dios. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering down in the dirt. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. And it remains one nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Dyrone Blanco. And the right hander back to work. That's in there. Not what he's looking for there, the O-O -O count. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Strike two. And a pitch. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, no swing. That misses, two balls, two strikes. Just off the outside edge. The wind of the pitch. Got him swinging. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Prado stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. And strike two. And one and two. And now two and two. Two, two now. Good eye right there. Struck him out looking on the backdoor slider. Well, I'd say that was a pretty generous call right there. And when a pitcher's getting that call, there's really not much you can do about it as a hitter. And you know what? Guys today are so disciplined to stay with their approach and game plan. Not surprised at all that he took that pitch. Matt Duffy steps in for the Royals. 
looked like it was a little bit up. The pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. High in the air, out to right. Carroll moving under it. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Royals go down 1-2-3. They lead it 1-0. Back here in the desert, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. The pitch. And he pumps it a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. That misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Just missed. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And the next pitch is way outside. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake the team up with the free pass. No outs. Runner at first. And now the center fielder, Alec Thomas. He's 0 for 1. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside, for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Slice the other way and foul. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Now the pressure was already high, and now it's been cranked up to another level. Man, his head must be spinning out there on the mound. He's got to find a way to slow things down. That breathing technique, Boog. He let everything out. Longoria in the box now. Take strike one. This is an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Misses off the inside. And that's ball one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next one misses, two and two. That's a really good take. Grounder might be two. Slings to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Trying to deliver as the hero. First pitch, and he just misses. So after a double play, he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game. The tying run is 90 feet away. Swings through that one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Falling behind 2-1. They're down to their final strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. 
out there to center. Blanco gets under it. And that'll do it. The Royals claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense.